Hello, Case Burn Web Kaiju here. It is Thursday, August 6, 2020, and welcome to Quick Reviews. Today I'm just going to be talking about a lot of Evangelion. In particular, Evangelion Death True Squared, End of Evangelion, and all three rebuild movies, which I'm not sure if I watch the theatrical version or the one with extra footage it's weird they're like 3.0 or 3.33 depending on which version you watch collectively known as the rebuild of evangelion films or shin evangelion they are you are not alone you can not advance and you can not redo Evangelion Death True Squared Apparently also known as Revival of Evangelion and Death and Rebirth or at least a slightly altered version of one or both of those The action scenes with the angels in the recap sure have lost a lot of excitement The picture in this version is zoomed or stretched for a widescreen aspect ratio It just doesn't look as good The recap while having some nice cuts and transition is I don't think it's coherent, I don't think anyone who hasn't watched the show is going to know what is really going on, too much is skipped, it's too far from chronological, I don't even think the new footage meant anything, maybe I just didn't understand, but then again there's plenty in the show I don't understand, but I think most of that is because it's just not explained. Skip this, 1.5 out of 5. End of Evangelion The animation is a little bit different, but it's still good. There's a lot, just tons of great scenes. The storyboarding and just ideas on display here are astonishing. I honestly can't stress how much I love so many of the scenes, but for a redone ending, the actual ending is still pretty lackluster and a bit confusing still. 4.25 out of 5. Rebuild of Evangelion, you are not alone. Everything looks very clean, but that doesn't mean everything looks better. There are some animated bits that do feel fantastic though, and the fifth angel looks great the whole time it's on screen. The music and sound effects are top notch as well, though most of the cues and tunes are lifted directly from the show. There's nothing terribly wrong with this one, just the show feels better, so there's really no need to watch it. It's mostly just redone bits from the show, unless you're planning on watching the other rebuilt films, which I am, because apparently things change drastically. 3 out of 5. Rebuild of Evangelion. You can not advance. I like seeing the new angel designs. I'm sure they're the same in the first film, but I actually think the Avas themselves look weird and worse when compared to the show. I love the part where the kids go to see the pre-second impact ocean, especially the pen pen parts. The part with the eighth angel is great. The added parkour bits and the difference in both the angels' characteristics, which were fantastic, and the events once it makes contact with the Avos are wonderful. The AT field stuff looked great here. The old stuff works. The newly added and altered stuff works very well, small and large, except maybe a sidelining of a major player, but best believe this movie was good enough for me to watch the next to figure out if that's the case. 4.5 out of 5. Rebuild of Evangelion, you can not redo. Not a big fan of the time skip. The last movie ended on such a high note that could have been directly expanded on from, but instead here we are. And the only real plus is some interesting character design changes, probably the best CG utilization in anime I've seen. They somehow managed to make Shinji more unlikable. 3 out of 5. Thanks for watching.